Hello again, people. Yeah, I'm back. Woo. Okay, first of all, a bit of an explanation. Remember a while ago when my computer crapped itself and didn't want to turn on? Well, it did it again, except this time it did it permanently. So I've had to get a brand new computer, which of course means losing my games, my save files, my videos. So that seems to be the end of those Let's Plays that I was doing. Uh, at some point in the future, I may re-download Dragon Sphere, play it up to the point where I was before, and continue it from there, because I was really enjoying that, and I'd like to see how it turns out. Uh, probably not so much for Zack McCracken, because I wasn't really enjoying that as much as I thought I would. And as for Deadlock, well, due to its somewhat random nature, I don't think I'll be able to do that. But chances are good that I will do some more Deadlock runs, perhaps as the Tarth, maybe as a different race, but I still to do at least one run for each race in deadlock, so I'll try to get back to that. On a good note, I finally found a PlayStation emulator that's actually working, so I can finally get started on that uh, Blazing Dragons run I'm wanting to do. So let's see how it works. So far, so good. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, so a little background, uh, Blazing Dragons, this game, is based on the kids' cartoon series, well, I say kids' cartoon series, but it's uh, made by the Monty Python people, and it's not entirely for kids, actually, it is it is actually pretty, pretty good, so yeah, if you want to check it out, might as well give it a go, eh? And this is, well, it, it's loosely based on the cartoon series, because there's the same sort of, same sort of characters, same sort of story that... Uh, a lot of variation as well. There's a lot of variation in it as well. So, here we go. Oh, there's a. I know you can't hear the sound, but there's a lot of skipping going on. So, okay, that seems all right. Okay, so that's there's the king. Yeah, okay, this 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 is not working. Alrighty, so let's hope the game actually works. See if that cutscene didn't. Okay. Alrighty then. Yes, I have no memory cards, but that's okay because I have save states. See if I can turn text on. Brilliant. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. Here you go. The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off. With this extraordinary diamond, apparently. That has a bite mark in it. It's half eaten! Ugh, those dragons! Ra! I wonder who Evan is. Murfin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make camel hot mine? Ha 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 Hmm, my spies have just given me a, some new deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelhot. Okay, I'm guessing we're not going to hear this information. Okay. So that was making a lot of noise. My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze level was pure genius. Of course it was. And here's this guy. Flicker, hurry up you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Allfire has been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze level one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine, I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Whee! And here we are. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. Who knows? Okay, so here we go. Let's get our controls ready. That's good. Okay. Here we have. So that's that. Good. Um, what else do we have? Oh, this is our inventory, I'm guessing. What's this? Uh, no, no. I wanna... 
Yeah. It's my clicker. The first thing I ever invented. I won second place at the science fair that year. First place went to the wheel. I said, okay, so let's close that. How do we change icons? Here we go. Alrighty. So we've got look, walk, use, talk. Okay. What do we have here? No, no, no. Yeah, there you go. This is the most precious thing I own. My invention book. It contains all the designs for all my best inventions. All right, well, let's grab that. A good inventor always has his invention book. Of course he does. Okay, so let's put that in our inventory. Brilliant. And what's this? It's my pet moth Pavlov. So far I've conditioned him to stand his jar, even after the lid is removed. Let's grab Pavlov. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what well-trained moth you are? Of course he is. He's not going to fly away at all, is he? Oh, of course not. Pavlov, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad moth, bad. Well, we have a jar. What else can we get? Boards? Maybe a crowbar? Uh, there we go. I don't need this junk. Uh, I'm in treasure right now. Of course you don't. Well, this is standing out. What's this? Okay. My rubberized tail warmer. Functional yet stylish. It keeps my tail toasty at night. Of course it does. Okay. What else do we have around here? We have a hat, which doesn't highlight. We have a picture. It's a photo of Princess Flame. She's the apple of my eye, the cream in my coffee, the frosting on my cupcake. Strange. Whenever I think of flame, I get very hungry. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Okay, well, can we, no, no, no. Can we grab? No, no, no. Grab it. I would never move it. It's the last thing I want to see when I go to sleep. It's the first thing I see when I wake. Of course. Can we grab the clock? Of course you don't. Well, it seems well, nothing else really stands out, so... Let's get out of here. Let's go see the king. Okay. Well, this is clearly something I want to grab. Candelabra. Of course it would be stupid. Put it back in your... No, here we go. Okay, what's in here? Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, so some sort of library. Okay, well I'm looking at this. This is endangered species which are protected by law. Alrighty. Oh, I guess. All right. Okay. So endangered species cockroach. There's only two of them left, and they're not even speaking. If they don't kiss and make up, the species is almost certainly doomed to extinction. Flat-billed, three-feathered mama. Poor little guys. They're exquisite birds with such excellent taste. Unfortunately, they taste excellent to the hedgehogs. And the miner-eating hedgehog. There used to be plenty of them until the miner birds started fighting back. They sent in a mediator, but they ate him. <laughs> and a suspiciously blank space. There's nothing in there now, huh? Nothing in there now? Well... It's going to be something to keep in mind. Um, can I guess? I oh, know there's nothing there. How can I... Does this, does this get out of it? Yes? Okay. Well, I'm sort of running a bit low on time, so I guess I will leave it here. And I will see you at some point in the future. We can continue this and hopefully get back to some other games. I've got plenty that I want to do, including getting back to Dragsfield. So, I will see you later. Goodbye and goodbye.